Hello, my dear student. Welcome to another edition of your mathematics lesson. Today, in continuation with your main topic, algebraic fractions, what we are going to learn today is how to solve the equations that involve algebraic fractions. So let's begin. After completing the very lesson today, my dear student, we'll be able to find the solution of our equation involving algebraic fractions. This is what I hope you'll be able to do after completing the very lesson today. So as usual in your favorite segment of the lesson, Marcy Safana, today, my dear student, I'll give you another interesting number. This number is 18. 18 is so unique, so special. I'll tell you what is interesting about this very number, 18, after completing my lesson today. So don't go away. To begin the lesson, my dear student, let us learn the rule. It is this rule that will tell us what we need to do from step number one to the last step in attempt to solve the equations involving algebraic fractions. So let's take the rules. So rule number one says uh, find the LCM of the denominator. So that is the equation that you are solving, which involves algebraic fractions. So you look at the denominators that they are finding the LCM. When that is now the done, step number two says multiply both sides of your equation by the LCM that you have just obtained in step number one. This multiplication of both sides of the equation by the LCM, what you are just basically doing is clearing the fraction. When that is now done, you now resolve the, your equation involving algebraic fractions into simple, simple equation. That is equation not involving algebraic fractions. And when that is now done, last step is to solve that very simple equation that you have formed in step number three. These are the four steps that you have to take in order to find, or in order to solve the equations involving algebraic fractions successfully. We're going to take examples how we can make use of these four steps and find the solutions of those equations. So let us move. Example number one says solve this very equation. You can see the equations involve algebraic fraction. This is the equation says 1 over 2 minus another fraction x minus 2 over 3 equals to another fraction 1 over 4. Solution to this very problem. So if I copy the, the given equation, that is the equation involving algebraic fraction. Rule number one says I should find the the LCM of these denominators. Denominators I can see here have 2, 3, and 4. So I'll now find the LCM of 2, 3, and 4. This LCM will be nothing but 12. And step number 3 says I should now multiply both sides of the equation by the LCM. So this side of the equation, that is the left hand side times 12. So I have 12 times. The bracket, what you have in the bracket is this left hand side of the equation equals to the right hand side, which is 1 over 4 multiplied by 12. 12 is the LCM of 2, 3, and 4. So, doing this multiplication, I will now be able to clear the fraction. So, multiplying this left hand side means this to 12 times what is in the bracket, and what is in the bracket, I have 1 over 2 times 12. And x minus 2 over 3, this fraction also times 12. Let me do that. So multiple line this 12 by what is in the bracket will give answer 6. That is 12 times 1 over 2 gives you 6. 12 times x minus 2 all over 3. You can see this 3 in this 12 will be 4. 4 times so what you have here, x minus 2. So you now have 4 times the bracket x minus 2. If I move to the right hand side, 1 over 4 times 12, you can see 4 in 12 will be 3. So 3 times this one will give answer 3. So I'll continue. So what I'm going to do next is to expand the this very bracket. So minus 4 times x minus 4 times minus 2. That will give a result 6 minus 4x and plus 8. Then I copied my 3 there. So what it remains is to solve this simple equation. I collect the like terms first. So there I will now have minus 4x, which I just copied. This 6 and this 8 now shifted to the right hand side becomes minus 6 and minus 8. I copied my 3 there. So I continue. So collecting this like terms, that is 3 minus 6 minus 8 gives answer minus 11. 
So minus 4x equals to minus 11. So I'll now divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is minus 4. That give answer x to be equals to 2 whole number, 3 over 4. That is dividing 11 by 4 will give this uh, mixed fraction 2 whole number, 3 over 4. Minus divided by minus will now change it to this plus. So this is the solution to this very equation. Let us move and take another example. Example number two says so solve this very equation involving algebraic fractions x minus 2 over 4 minus x minus 1 over 2 equals to 3. Solution to this very problem copying the given equation. Rule number one says so find the LCM of the denominators. I have 4 and 2 as denominators. So LCM of this 4 and 2 will now be 4. So I will now take this equation, multiply each and every side of it by the LCM, which is now 4. So I'm going to have 4 times the left hand side equals to 3 times 4 also. That is my right hand side times 3 times 4. My right hand side times, uh, times 4, the LCM. So let me do the multiplication. So now for multiply each and every term inside this very bracket. Let me start with the very first one. So 4 times uh, x minus 2 all over 4. 4 will cancel 4, so we'll be left with x minus 2. So there I have x minus 2. I copied this minus. Then 4 times the second term, which is x minus 1 all over 2. 2 in this 4 will now be 2. 2 times x minus 1, so you're going to have 2 into x minus 1. And the multiply 3 by 4, of course, give you 12. So now expand the decibel bracket. So you now have x minus 2, which I just copied. Then this minus 2 times the bracket, so you have minus 2 times x and minus 2 times minus 1. That will give us minus 2x plus 2 equals to 12. I continue. So I'll now collect the like terms. I have x, I have minus 2x, that will give us minus x, and uh, I have minus 2 plus 2, two that will be 0. So I'm going to have minus x equals to 12. Dividing both sides by this minus 1 gives us x equals to minus 12. So this is now the solution of this very equation involving algebraic fractions. So let's just take one more example. Example number three says solve this very equation 1 over x plus 1 over 5 equals to 1 to 2 over 3. Solution to this very problem, copying the given equation. Rule number one says find the LCM and use that LCM to multiply each and every side of the equation. So the LCM of x, 5 and 3, these are my denominators, x, 5 and 3. So the LCM would be now be 50x. So I'll now multiply each and every side of this equation by 50x. So I'll now have 50x multiplied by the left hand side, which I have 1 over x plus 1 over 5. So it will now be the bracket equals to my right hand side 2 over 3 times the LCM 50x. So I'll continue. So I'll now do this multiplication that is 15x times what is in the bracket. Uh, Starting with the 15x times 1 over x, you can see x will cancel x to have 15 times 1, which gives you 15. Then 15x times 1 over 5, you can see 5 in 15 will be 3. So this will now be 3x times 1. That will give answer 3x equals sign. Then 2 over 3 times 15x, this 3 in 15 will give you answer 5. So you have 2 times 5x, which give answer 10x. So you now collect the like terms. So you now have uh, 15. 3x transferred to the left hand side becomes minus 3x. So I have 15 equals to 7x. So I'll now divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 7, to get x. So that gives me x equals to 2 whole number 1 over 7. That is dividing 15 by 7, it will now be 2 whole number 1 over 7. And this is the solution of this very equation. With these few examples, I hope my dear student will be able to solve the any equations that involve algebraic fractions. And let me just move to the last segment, mass is fun. 
that I explain what is interested about the number 18. 18 is the only number that is twice the sum of it is a digit, which means uh, if you are to find the sum of those digit 1 and 8 and multiply the result by 2, this is the meaning of twice. Uh, you get back your 18, and this 18 is the only number that this could, thing could happen. Let's find out and see. 18 is the sum that has 2 multiplied by the bracket, and inside the bracket you can see sum of 1 and 8, which means the digits in 18. So sum of 1 and 8 gives you 9, and 9 times 2 will give you your number 18 back. So 18 is interesting. We see more of those interesting numbers in our subsequent lessons.